Welcome to Scholarly Snapshots, the channel that makes peer-reviewed research accessible. We take complex studies and break them down into simple, digestible bites, covering a wide range of topics. Whether you're a student, a scholar, or just someone who's curious about the world, join us as we dive into the world of scholarship together. Introduction Today, we're going to be trying something a bit new. Instead of our usual, snapshot, we're trying out a longer form video that we're calling a deep dive. We realized after posting it, that our snapshot of Bar Salu's perceptual symbol systems was difficult to understand. So we thought we would make a video summarizing his 84-page research paper, Perceptual Symbol Systems, in as much depth as is reasonable, which gives a comprehensive overview. This paper discusses the relationship between perception and cognition. While these fields have traditionally been studied separately, Recent research has shown that they are closely related, with shared systems at both cognitive and neural levels. We'll explore this fascinating topic in more detail. Grounding Cognition in Perception The author argues that our understanding of the world is closely tied to our perceptual experiences, contrary to what many modern theories suggest. Their research focuses on how perception shapes our language, memory, and thought processes. This challenges the dominant view that our minds operate independently of our sensory experiences. Emodal Symbol Systems Emodal symbol systems are the structures that help us transduce information from our perceptual experiences into larger representational structures. They play a critical role in supporting higher cognitive functions like memory, knowledge, language, and thought. However, there are still unresolved issues with this theory such as the process by which perceptual states are mapped onto emodal symbols. The current status of perceptual symbol systems. Perceptual symbol systems are neural representations that capture the qualitative and functional information about our experiences. They are not conscious subjective experiences, but rather captured by systems of neurons in sensory motor areas of the brain. These systems have implications for various fields such as neuroscience, evolution, development, and artificial intelligence. Core Properties While the details of the perceptual symbol system are not entirely clear, the theory proposes that the mechanisms underlying perception also underlie knowledge. This means that our understanding of the world is inherently tied to our sensory experiences. Neural representations in sensory motor systems, perceptual symbols are not mental images, but rather neural representations that reflect our perception of the world. They are captured by systems of neurons in sensory motor regions of the brain and represent qualitative and functional information about perceived events. Conscious versus unconscious processing. Perceptual symbols are defined at the neural level and consist of unconscious neural representations, rather than conscious mental images. While conscious counterparts may sometimes accompany neural representations, research suggests that conscious experience often fails to reflect the unconscious mechanisms controlling behavior. Therefore, if human knowledge is based on perceptual symbols, there is no inherent reason why it must be represented consciously. Schematic Perceptual Symbols Perceptual symbols are schematic representations of a subset of the entire brain state underlying a perception. They are formed through selective attention and long-term memory, and many schematic representations are stored in memory due to constant selective attention. The symbol formation process selects and stores only a subset of active neurons in a perceptual state. Dynamic Perceptual Symbols Perceptual symbols are not discrete symbols but associative patterns of neurons with dynamical properties. The subsequent activation of a perceptual symbol can be altered by the storage of additional perceptual symbols or different contexts, causing differences in subsequent activations. Perceptual symbols are an attractor in a connectionist network. Componential Perceptual Symbols Perceptual representations are not conscious holistic images but are constructed sequentially, component by component. Conscious images may be difficult or impossible to construct without requiring the activation of other dimensions. Non-specific Perceptual Symbols Perceptual symbols need not represent specific individuals, as a single schematic representation can stand for various specific instances. For example, a generic drawing of a skyscraper could represent the Empire State Building, skyscrapers in general, or clothing made in New York City, depending on the context. Indeterminate Perceptual Symbols Perceptual representations may be indeterminate and generic, despite certain neurons representing the presence of lines independently of their length, position, and orientation. For example, 
the number of stripes on a tiger may be indeterminate in a person's conceptualization, and therefore a corresponding perceptual representation could also be indeterminate in several ways. Multimodal perceptual symbols. Perceptual symbols operate on all sensory modalities, including proprioception and introspection, and damage to sensory motor areas can result in deficits in conceptual processing. Perceptual symbols refer to any aspect of perceived experience, including proprioception and introspection, and are distributed widely throughout the modality-specific areas of the brain. Introspection Selective attention helps in storing introspective states in memory by focusing on the ability to represent something in its absence and storing a schematic representation of a representational state. This results in the ability to simulate coherent experiences of an object in its absence, using a system known as a simulator. However, introspective processing is not well understood relative to sensory motor processing in the brain. Dispositions, schemata, and mental models. Lockean dispositions and Kantian schemata propose two levels of structure, a deep set of generative mechanisms that typically operates unconsciously, and a surface level of conscious images. Mental models address only the surface level of simulations of specific entities and events without addressing the underlying generative mechanisms. Concept stability. Equating concepts with simulators provides a solution to the problem of concept stability by assuming the existence of a common simulator for a category that underlies different conceptualizations, both within and between individuals. Two people may have the ability to simulate each other's conceptualizations of a category, and common contextual constraints during communication often drive two people's simulations of a category into similar forms. Cognitive penetration. Studies have shown that cognition can establish content in sensory motor systems in the absence of physical input. Sensory motor systems may be penetrable by cognition, but not always. The representational mechanisms in sensory motor regions of the brain may be used by perceptual symbol systems in multiple roles, suggesting that cognitive and perceptual representations reside in a common system. Frames Frames are composed of four basic properties predicates, attribute value bindings, constraints, and recursion. The cognitive system uses the frame for a category to construct specific simulations, with subregions and their specializations competing for inclusion. The constraint satisfaction process can be influenced by context, and during an event simulation, subregions and their specializations may change over time as the constraint satisfaction process evolves recurrently. Productivity. Productivity is the ability to recursively combine and manipulate schematic perceptual symbols, allowing for the creation of limitless simulations. It is crucial in understanding knowledge and creativity in perceptual symbol systems. However, there are constraints and emergent properties that arise during the productive process. Language also plays a crucial role in controlling productivity and conceptualization. Propositional Construles in Perceptual Symbol Systems Perceptual symbol systems implement propositions that describe and interpret situations through type token mappings that establish type token relations between concepts in knowledge and individuals in the perceived world. Different construals of a situation result in different propositions, and multiple construals of a situation are possible, leading to an infinite number of possible propositions. Productively produced hierarchical propositions. Perceptual symbol systems are capable of implementing propositions that describe and interpret situations, including alternative interpretations of the same individuals in a scene. They readily implement complex hierarchical propositions and produce type token mappings that provide a wealth of inferences about construed individuals and alternative construals of the same scene. Intentionality Perceptual symbol systems can represent propositions with intentionality, allowing mental states to be about something. The content of a symbol does not necessarily need to resemble its referent, and definite descriptions are not the only way to establish reference. Complex simulations can establish reference successfully, as long as there is only one referent present in the relevant region. The construal of perceptual symbols. A shape, such as a circle, is rarely imaged in isolation, but is instead part of a simulation constructed from a simulator, allowing for disambiguation and linking to a particular simulator. Unifying all the perspectives and conditions under which a given individual can be simulated using a simulator may help solve the problem of how radically different images can be construed as images of the same thing. Variable embodiment. Variable embodiment is a key concept in perceptual symbol systems, 
allowing for adaptation to specific environments and accommodating individual variability in perception. However, it also creates variability in how individuals represent the same concept due to differences in perceptual systems. Metaphorical mapping may be necessary for novel metaphors, but familiar metaphors may bypass this process through polysemy, representing abstract concepts directly with perceptual symbols. Perceptual symbol systems can represent abstract concepts directly through mechanisms such as framing, selectivity, and introspective symbols. These mechanisms allow individuals to focus attention on a part of a perceptual simulation analytically and capture the focusing that underlies abstract concepts. This allows for the representation of concepts such as truth, falsity, negation, and anger. The success of using these mechanisms suggests that a perceptual symbol system can represent any abstract concept, representing disjunction and ad hoc categories. The perceptual symbol system represents abstract concepts directly through various mechanisms, allowing it to capture the focusing that underlies concepts like disjunction. Introspective events play a central role in the representation of abstract concepts and rely heavily on perceptual experience. The system can formulate a functional conceptual system through selective attention that extracts components of perceptual experience to establish simulators that function as concepts. Perception The dissociation between cognition and perception is artificial, as they share common neural systems and function simultaneously in the same mechanisms. Perception is not a completely modular system and engages cognitive processes immediately. Attention plays a crucial role in creating and controlling schematic symbols and providing natural accounts of traditional attentional phenomena. Categorization and concepts. Categorization is based on propositional construal, and concepts are formed through simulations of perceptual experience. Attention plays a crucial role in parsing experience into the schematic components that form concepts, and perceptual symbol systems provide natural accounts of traditional attentional phenomena. Inhibition is the top-down suppression of a simulator. Memory Working memory runs perceptual simulations through systems like the visual short-term buffer, motor short-term buffer, and executive processor. These systems can be used during perception, movement, and problem-solving and can also simulate these activities offline. Long-term memory contains simulators, while working memory implements specific simulations. Attention plays a key role in forming schematic perceptual symbols that compose simulators and can contrast a focal concept against a background simulation. Inhibition is the top-down suppression of a simulator. Language processing the process of language comprehension involves constructing a perceptual simulation to represent the meaning of an utterance or text. This simulation allows for the representation of propositions about imagined individuals, similar to the type token mappings that develop during the categorization of physical entities. This process underlies situation models and mental models used in understanding texts. Problem solving, decision making, and skill. Perceptual symbol systems propose that problem solving involves constructing a perceptual simulation to move from an initial to a goal state. This simulation includes external symbols and operations, and the ability to construct relevant simulations improves with experience. Non-human animals also possess perceptual symbol systems, allowing them to simulate their environment and make useful inferences. Humans evolved a linguistic system to extend the power of existing perceptual symbol systems rather than developing a new system of representation. Thus, the basic form of conceptual representation remains constant across evolution and development. Conclusion In modern cognitive science and neuroscience, three basic approaches to knowledge exist, classic representational, statistical and dynamical, and embodied approaches. Each has discovered important aspects of human knowledge that the others have not. Classic representational approaches emphasize structured representations, productivity, and propositions. Statistical approaches highlight generalization, partial matches, adaptation, frequency effects, and pattern completion. Embodied approaches emphasize grounding knowledge in sensory motor mechanisms and the significance of environments and action for cognition. The goal of perceptual symbol systems is to integrate the positive contributions of all three approaches. Ultimately, an approach that integrates representation, statistical processing, and embodiment will likely succeed in understanding human cognition. That's it for this episode of Scholarly Snapshots. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into perceptual symbol systems. We appreciate you sticking around.
If you have any questions or comments about the content or about this new longer form video, please comment below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.